The Atlanta Braves face off against the Houston Astros tonight in the first game of the 117th World Series. Dusty Baker, manager of the Houston Astros, broke into Major League Baseball in 1967 at the age of 18. The only reason his mother let him join the Atlanta Braves, he recounted, was because he struck a deal with the team star player, Hank Aaron, who agreed to look out for her son. This was an era many understood as the golden age of baseball when many of the sport's most celebrated athletes like Jackie Robinson, Willie Mays, and Ernie Banks were African American. But baseball has since lost much of its appeal to many black Americans as well as its share of African American players. In 1981, over 18% of MLB players were black. This year, 30% of players identify as Latino, many of whom identify as Afro-Latino, by the way, but only 7% were African-American. Major League Baseball Commissioner Rob Manfred aims to re-diversify the sport, making this World Series potentially the last before significant changes are implemented. Joining me now to discuss is Dr. Daniel Kelly, a, a academic director of graduate programs at Preston Robert Tisch Institute for Global Sports at NYU. So Dr. Kelly, explain to us why the percentage of African Americans in baseball has dropped. Uh, thank you, Charles. The rationale behind why um, so many African Americans are choosing not to play baseball is due to the the transition from baseball being a, a sandlot sport to now being a very affluent sport. And so with the cost of travel teams, the cost of batting cages, the cost of opportunities for uh, bats, gloves, et cetera, it's just now becoming too cost in inefficient for African-Americans and their families. And in comparison to basketball and football, which in the urban areas can be played in a pickup format, uh, baseball just is a bit cumbersome. In, in today's day and age of um, millennials and Gen Zs. And so what we're seeing now is that a lot of African-Americans are moving away from baseball to sports that are easier to access. So, so then how does that ex uh, help to explain the influx of so many Hispanic players, uh, many of whom have the same or sometimes even worse economic situations? but their numbers are rising. Yeah, you're right. Currently, we have, uh, in 2021, 30% of Major League Baseball is, is Latinx, and that is uh, due primarily to a lot of the investments of Major League Baseball and many of the member clubs in the Dominican Republic as well as Latinx nations. And so we're seeing this investment of, of resources such as bats, gloves, um, equipment and especially coaching and training that has been invested into the Caribbean. And so that has built up a pipeline that just does not exist currently for African Americans. Now on the flip side, so the investment of Rob Manfred is leading towards potential opportunities to give back to the grassroots level for African Americans. So do you believe that the, the changes that the commissioner says that he's going to make will include more investment into African-American areas so that it will allow more young African-American athletes to access the sport and not have an economic barrier? Uh, yes, I'm pretty excited about it because um, Commissioner Rob Manfred has promoted Tony Reagans, who was a, a former Major League Baseball general manager for the Los Angeles Angels. And in this new role, he is in charge of bringing African Americans back to the Major Leagues. And so programs such as the Breakthrough Series, the Hank Aaron Invitational, and the Elite Development Invitational are all free programs which are sponsored by Major League Baseball to increase the grassroots efforts for African Americans. I, here in Atlanta, I went to a, a college football, uh, sorry, college baseball game, uh, you know, kind of co-sponsored by the, 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 the professional leagues. Is that also part of the recruitment and kind of excitement building in black communities? One of those schools was Grambling, another school was a black college from Florida. Uh, is that part of the kind of trying to build excitement around the sport in the black community? 
Uh, yes, I think the the fact that these successful programs, whether they are sponsored directly by Major League Baseball or um, black cops are taking up the, the mantle, the bottom line is that we're starting to see more black Americans in baseball, and now they're being highlighted as potential role models and, and heroes. Um, major leaguers like Dominic Smith, who is a left fielder and first baseman for the New York Mets. Um, Devin Williams was a pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, Ed Howard, a first baseman who was a, a first round pick for the Cubs this past, a couple of years ago. And then of course, Tamar Johnson, who was a prospect from Atlanta. Like, like you mentioned, you know, he's somebody who was on the radar for this year to be a 2022 draft pick. And so with new African-Americans in the pipeline, new African-Americans finding success in baseball, we're hoping to see this major change for African-Americans in baseball. So, Dr. Kelly, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I really appreciate your time and your insights on this issue.